Hey guys, it's Voice of the Bisons, Pat Malacaro once again here today. And as you know, the Bisons are part of the Rich Entertainment Group, which includes rich baseball operations with teams in West Virginia and Northwest Arkansas as well. Samantha Martinez from the Rich Entertainment Group is going to talk to Jordan Romano today. Sam? Thanks, Pat. Jordan Romano has appeared in five games this year with the Bisons and three of them as a starter. Jordan, before the season started, it seemed like you, you might not even be wearing a Bisons uniform. First, you were selected in the Rule 5 draft by the Chicago White Sox and then traded by the Texas Rangers where you began spring training. That must have been a roller coaster of emotions. Tell me what you were thinking. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a pretty crazy day. Um, you know, uh, finding out I was selected by the White Sox and then traded to the Texas Rangers. It was a whirlwind in 15 minutes when it happened. At first, I was kind of shocked. I was like, okay, you know, the White Sox, it's great. I didn't know much about them, but I was like, okay, I'm happy to be part of the White Sox organization. And then turn around to Texas, I was like, okay, I'm going to be a Texas Ranger. So then it was just kind of, I'm getting all texts from my friends, family, and I kind of have to explain to them the situation. Most of them thought I was a White Sox, and then I had to tell them, like, hey, I'm actually a Ranger. So it was, it was a lot. It was a lot. So going from a starter mentality, then bullpen, then back to starter, how, do you, how does that affect your approach? Um, you know, there's, there's definitely a different approach, starting versus relieving, but the ultimate goal is just to get the batter out. So that's what I'm trying to keep going. It's difficult sometimes, uh, reliever to starter to reliever, but I'm just trying to get guys out. When you were in Dunedin, Florida, a uh, slow motion video captured your fingers just slightly ever so after uh, moving off of the seam mm -hmm. as you threw your pitch. How, tell me how do you perfect that because just a few millimeters can throw your pitch off. Yeah, it's definitely something I never looked at. We're using slow motion camera now to see our finger placement, how we're releasing the ball. And uh, I just noticed that I wasn't having my finger on the seam. I didn't notice it until I saw the slow motion camera. So I'm, I'm trying to work on that. And it was pretty cool seeing everything frame by frame. You know, thank God for that technology. I, I want to get a look of that. Can you show me just a little bit with the ball? Yeah, definitely. So before the slow motion camera, I was kind of over here on my slider, not on the seam. But now I've kind of moved it over a little bit. So now we're getting a little better spin. OK, Jordan, so you played in the 2017 World Baseball Classic for the Italian national team. Now, you have Italian roots that must have been extra special getting that that lone win yeah that was awesome uh, we were in Mexico facing Mexico that day and the place was going crazy and uh, my dad's from Italy so it was really cool my grandparents are from there as well so it was really cool uh, they were excited for me like playing for Italy that's where they come from so they were they're were super pumped super awesome have you actually ever visited Italy Never. Baseball's always taking up my time. Don't have a chance to go. <laughs> oh my God, it's an amazing country. I actually just recently went, came uh, from visiting back in March. Uh, Naples and Rome, you got to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll be there soon. I want to visit. Okay, so um, you're originally actually from Markham, Ontario. Can in Canada, hockey is huge. Yeah. How did you get into baseball and not hockey? Well, so I played both growing up. You know, I played hockey uh, in the winters, baseball in the summers. But hockey, you know, you kind of get beat up a little bit. They hit you, there's fighting. So I was like, tired of that. I'll just stick to stick to baseball. <laughs> okay, and I mean, I just got to ask, you're Canadian. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you put maple syrup on? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I really like maple syrup donuts. Um, that's, pretty normal. that's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. Right? Not, I, I guess nothing too crazy. Pancakes, waffles, nothing really, nothing too crazy. Like not like something weird like maple syrup on rice or something? I mean, I can't even think of what would be weird. No, I... Maple syrup, just pancakes, donuts, waffles, that's it. Traditional guy, I guess, traditional. So Buffalo also has an awesome food scene. Have you had a chance to check it out? Uh, a few places here and there when I'm not at the ballpark, but I haven't got too deep into it. Yeah, you definitely have to check out our restaurant scene, our dessert scene. Every, we love to eat. That's how we stay warm here in Buffalo. Okay. One thing I have noticed is um, you guys are really into blue cheese. Blue cheese dressing on wings and stuff. That's kind of new for me. So yeah, yeah. I'm actually not originally from Buffalo myself. When I first moved here, I called it the land of cream and cheese because we Buffalonians love our food. That's right. <laughs> Jordan, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we started off kind of slow, but we're picking it up here pretty. We're picking it up here pretty well. Um, been winning a lot lately, so we're just trying to. The next month or so, I think the the herd's gonna get hot, and we're gonna start rolling a little bit. Thank you. Thanks for catching our live look in with the Bisons. Until next time, I'm Samantha Martinez for Rich Entertainment Group. Pat, back to you. Thanks, Sam. Tomorrow closes out the homestand as the Bisons will have another Kids Club Sunday. And for all details on promotional information, head over to Bisons.com. <laughs>